Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Carlin Gaming Pokemon X Nuzlocke Challenge. We are back. Sorry for a bit of the delay there. Of course, if you're watching this in the fullness of time, you won't have noticed the break at all. But if you've been waiting, and I bet you have, because we are at the Elite Four today. My apologies. We had a... Uh, family beach trip there and uh, my plan was hey i'm just gonna go and bring the team do all the necessary grinding there because i'll have lots of free time did not and then i'll come home and record instead i did no grinding i left my charger at the beach and i had to wait for another one so then i still also had to do the grinding but whatever, we made it, we're here. Look at this amazing palace that is just so lavish and so Kalos. Ugh, geez, this region and its money, am I right? Okay, not like Kanto. Humble people over in Kanto, they're just, all I need's a pool. I'll fight you, I'm the Elite Four. Let's take a look. So anyway, since last uh, we met, I decided to do just off-screen grinding because I wanted this episode to be all about fighting the Elite Four. So, let's just go down. I, I wanted to have everyone hit around 63. As you can see, that's where Fatterhorn and Duong landed. Our uh, big hitters, Xylia, Davin, Clo as if they're not all big hitters. But uh, Davin and Xylia both uh, knocked there on 65. Ba-boom. Chloeo and Xerxen, the mighty hugging purple scorpion team leader, is at 64. And then Fatterhorn and Duong... Uh, rocking it down there at 63. Okay, so the four members of the Elite Four here are Fire, Water, Steel, and Dragon. And then we have the Champion, and she's got uh, Mega Gardevoir is like her ace Pokemon. However, <laughs> our ace Pokemon is Xerxen, which could not be more anti-Gardevoir than anything. Um... The poison is good against her fairy typing. The uh, dark is good against the psychic typing. Xerxen is the team leader anyway. It is the perfect counter, but that's that's for then. Before then, we have to get through the rest of the Elite Four. And I, uh, the more I keep thinking about it, the more I think Xylia is going to be our our hero in once we enter because Xylia can face down the water guy. I think no problem, like, right? Because she has water absorb. That's pretty good. Uh, and also Thunderbolt. So can't hurt us, we can't hurt them. That's the, pretty much that. Uh, then when we get to the fire guy, girl, I think, uh, Xylia, also pretty obviously the person because water, right? <laughs> and then we have our uh, dragon, user and they're weak to ice so not not ice and fairy so also davin pretty solid choice there which just leaves steel and uh we have chloeo for that overheat the crap out of that guy flamethrower him um let's just give you a quick rundown in case you're interested in like the stats or anything of uh, the rest of the party here we've got xerxen Boys, no one really got any new moves or anything. I had the opportunity to put Guillotine on um, Duong, but I was like, I don't know about that. Uh, so we didn't. Uh, anyway, Giga Impact, only to be used in dire situations. Hopefully that won't come up. We have Xylia rocking the Rocky Helmet. This is this is this is the move set, right? It like she has a move for everything in there. Plus she could paralyze stuff. There's our Mighty Daven. Uh, also could be handy against our water type guy in case we need to switch out because we have horn leech we can get life back that's good we can try and utilize that um duong i think is going to have his niche against a couple of the fossil type pokemon of the champion if and when that comes up and then we'll have uh chloeo there we've got noble roar oh we got did we get rid of work up for hyper voice okay 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 that's the problem i almost wonder if we should switch noble roar out for work up before we go in because i'm not sure if it's going to be more useful to power her up against the um steel guy i'm pretty sure he opens with his clef key and the cle the point of the clef key is to set up reflex and light screens and stuff um and it's got good resistances so that could be a thing like do we want to like try and also just set chloeo up while he sets up you know what i mean 
Uh, so that's one, that's one thought. That might be the last change I make. Although, I mean, yeah, that might be, that might be good. Uh, and then lastly, we've got, uh, what button do I push? Oh, that's what's going on. The Xerxenator. There we go. Sniper powers up moves with they become critical hits. Oh, I did not realize. Hmm. Maybe I should have been uh, trying to <laughs> give moves that were higher critical hit ratio. That's that's a ni nasty ability right there. The unnerve ability might finally come into a bill uh, effect though against the Elite Four because they'll definitely like their Ace Pokemon will all have berries normally, um, citrus berries. So there's that. Let's see, Geomancy, let me refresh myself on this. I don't use it while I'm like grinding or anything. Absorb special energy, absorb the energy and sharply raises its special attack, special defense and speed stat on the next turn. Oh, interesting. So it's like a uh, set up boost move. Hmm. Well, pfft, that's pretty good. The only tricky thing we have against our dragon type opponent is that she has a drag algae which is a dragon type, a poison type, which is like anti-fairy, right? That's what they want. They want to lure you in because they know you're going to use a fairy type because it was introduced in this gen and they're going to try and uh, sneak attack you with the poison dragon, drag algae. Anyway, I'm going to throw Xylia up front. There we go. Well, boom. I think uh, the question is, who do we take on first? Because we actually get to choose who we take on and in what order. And I feel like we should do the easiest ones first, and then um, from there, that way we'll have just more experience going forward. I am loaded on full restores. I think we do have work up in here. Shadow Claw, right somewhere. <laughs> or maybe we don't. Isn't that one they give you early on in the game? Am I totally crazy? Did I just not see it? It's very possible. Do, 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 do. Okay. Can I sort? By name? There we go. Oh, I do not have it. Okay, never mind. We don't have to worry about it. There we go. Noble Roar it is. I totally thought that was a TM that we had though. Anyway, not a big deal. Here we go. We are entering. Oh, thanks for getting my feet wet before I entered. Ugh, jeez, losers. Oh, who are you chumps? Did you guys make it through Victory Road too? Look at this place. It is so massive. You can't walk down the center. Gotta walk past all these cool paintings first. That's how I have it goes. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Bump, butter bump, butter bump. Um, but, oh wait, are we just in it? No, I'm pretty sure you get to choose. Maybe she's just gonna tell us. You're the illustrious Jonathan, are you? Welcome at last to the Pokemon League. I am one of the Elite Four. People know me as the Fire-type Pokemon user, Malva. Here in the Pokemon League, you'll encounter the four of us, the Elite Four, and our champion. Wow. <laughs> Remember in Gen 1 when you beat the Elite Four, when you were like, yes, I beat the game, and then they were like, actually, and you're like, what? I have an even harder fight coming? Yeah, I remember that. I guess it's not really a surprise anymore. Why they call them the Elite Four at all instead of just the Elite Five is ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you're in that room. Okay, I'm pretty sure, well, I would have told, okay, I'm pretty sure she's, this is fire right here. I'm pretty sure this is water right now. I'm pretty sure this is steel. And this is Dragon, lest I am mistaken. So what should we do first? I feel like it's water or fire or steel. Probably not Dragon first. Um, let's go Let's go fire, man. Let's just go straight for it. Here we are. All right. The game is the foot. No, this is Ironworks. Well, this is not. Whoops, I was so wrong about that. Where did she go? Was it in here? I don't know. Blazing. This sounds right. This seems exact. Oh gosh, here we go. Strategy is just use surf, right? If need be, switch to Davin and or um, Fatterhorn has thick fat, resistant to fire. Here we go. Look at their freaking illustrious giant elevators and super throne rooms they're sitting in. 
Gosh, there's no humility in this region at all. It's embarrassing. Look at that. I would be dead standing next to infernos of such nonsense. Like, are you trying to kill me? I think they are. Anyway, here we go. Here we go. Oh boy, it's happening, guys. The Elite Four, the battle is on. Welcome, challenger, to my blazing chamber. I'm Mal. I know we. you just introduced yourself. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Elite Four. Pyro! Hey, we have one of those. The mighty Chloeo. What's it going to use? Now it's also got that normal typing, and I bet it has hyper voice as well. Let's see, what if it Noble Roars me? What if you try Noble Roar Big X? No, you wouldn't, surf. Let's do it. Oh, it did, right out of the gate. They're like, mm, let's go ahead and nerf our opponents real quick. Attack and special attack down. Will that have been enough or will it? Oh gosh, it was, it did a lot. Hmm, okay. Just because I think we have no problem here. I'm just gonna do this right now because why not? It could Noble Roar us again. That would be really annoying, but there we go. Oh, it did. That's okay, now we're gonna be back to neutral. That might have just been a waste of a turn. Let's go ahead and surf it up. Wild Charge, oh, butts. Ah, welcome to the Rocky Helmet world, friend. It did so much, oh, oh, cause it, oh, I was like, oh my gosh, that did so much damage, but it also took recoil damage. Wild Charge, you sneaky, sneaky electric type using fire type. Man, they are ready for you to come in with a water type Pokemon, aren't they? And now watch, this guy's gonna use like Sunny Day or something to try and cut the effects of water. Guarantee it, guarantee it. Oh, it didn't, it used Curse, okay. Not going to matter. Lowering your speed is not going to help you in this fight because you're going to get hit by a Surf Bomb. Yeah, good luck with that. I should have gotten more X items before coming in here. That was probably stupid. Just lucky I had any at all. Oh, crap, I still have the EXP share on from grinding. Ugh, not cool, we'll turn that off after this. My B, y'all, my B. We also have Thunderbolt. I don't think that's gonna be as effective. We should obviously just keep surfing. Brave Bird, Yowza, that's gonna run. I mean, I don't think this is gonna, right, this will hurt, but it's not gonna be like, yeah. Rocky Helmet and recoil damage. Seems like it should have taken more recoil damage than that, if I'm being for reals. Uh, also, it's got such low health. One, I bet she uses a full restore, but there's no reason for us not to either. Full restore, ready, ba boom. Also, if it doesn't, it's just gonna use another, yeah, okay, she did use a full restore. That's what I thought. And so did we, yeah. Game is the foot. But we're gonna be the winners of that exchange because we already had damage and she did not. So if you wanna brave bird it up again, go for it. Run right into that rocky helmet. Ka slam. Yeah. And recoil damage. Mm-hmm. There it is. And surf. Ka surfed. Oh yeah. There we go. Now the question is, will she do it again? Um, or will she full restore again? I don't really mind if she does, but if she does, we can try and go for a paralysis because otherwise we'll kill it either way. Mm-hmm. So now maybe we'll get the paralysis here and maybe we'll get the, the free turn, I guess. Oh, what if he, what if it, burned me <gasps> it did not good 180 down to 1%. okay so that doesn't affect my physical attack that was such a stupid move I should have just thunderbolted it because that also could have paralyzed it uh anyway we're gonna surf there we go I'm now nervous like flare blitz no <laughs> <gasps> the burn is gonna kill me. No. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. End of fight. End of fight.
No, why did I? Why? Why did I do that? No, 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 no. Oh, no. That was like my whole strategy. It was a big part of it. Oh, no. Oh, no. That was such a dumb move. We died so early. There was no reason to do that. There was no reason to do that. Oh, I was not accounting for this. Oh, I don't like it one bit. I don't like it one bit. Moonblast. Let's destroy this. Oh my gosh, Zylia. No, that was my... Mm, it hurts. It hurts. Confide. What does that do? Special attack fell. That's not good. Ka-slam! Oh no, that is terrible. This is annoying. That's what this is. I'll tell you what. I think we can still get it, but... Oh, my heart pains for Big X. That was a huge... That was gonna... Oh, man. <sighs> okay. 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 Okay, we can recover. We can recover. Maybe. Maybe we can recover. I am a Holocaster star. Good for you. Good for you. You killed my beautiful Lapras and I hate you. You're a terrible person. Bye. See ya. Dumb. Stupid. I don't like you. Okay. Okay. That hurt. That was a that was a blow. That was a blow for sure. Uh Zerxen didn't actually end up taking any damage. We absolutely need to go do this off. Boom. Okay. 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 All right. Well, okay. So, uh, intriguing stone. Hmm. Okay. <sighs> what do? What do? Let's... Okay, here's what we're going to do. I think we're going to switch to Chloeo here. Oh, Zyla, I'm so sorry. I should not have gone for the... I should have just Thunderbolted. That was so stupid. I don't know what I was thinking don't know what I was thinking I just wanted that paralysis I didn't think about flame body and then the burn actually killed us that that is uh that is it's a hundred percent my fault hundred percent my fault I should have I should have just kept surfing there was no reason to get cute with it no reason to get cute with the elite four at all dragon mark no 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 I am losing my way in here did you go this way which one was this ironworks okay okay Okay, strategy, flamethrower. Pretty good, right? And or overheat, and or whatever need do. Here we go. Oh, gosh. It seems like that could have, if you missed with those swords, it feels like it could have hurt me. Quite a bit. Quite a bit. Oh, boy. He's got an Aegislash, which could be real tricky. Real tricky. Uh, look at him. He's dressed all like a knight. Well met, young challenger. Verily, I am Elite Force famed blade of heart and steel. Wictrum! My magnificent Pokemon at my side, I reveal the score betrayer achievement. Let us both give our word that our contest shall be fair and honorable. Ready? On guard. I'm ready. I guess. God, I thought I was ready for Malva back there and she killed my Pokemon. That was a very nice of her. You are challenged by Elite Four Wickstrom. Klefki! Mm hmm. Klefki. Oh, so dangerous is Klefki. Am I right? It's gonna set up its dumb screens, which I don't like. Question is can we just knock it out right out of the gate? Oh, you spikes. Well, I'm not really planning on doing much switching. I don't think so. Uh, boom! So, switching will hurt a little, but not that much. Probo pass. This guy's, hmm. I guess he's like part rock, isn't he? That's part of his danger. He can use a rock type move. But he's also part steel, obviously. Everything's part steel. And this is where, like, overheat. Let me just read about overheat real quick. Because does it lower our... Um, lowers the user's special attacks, that. So 
it would hurt us for the rest of the fight to do that. But let's go ahead. Man, this is so risky because he's like, if he hits us with a big rock type move, it could very definitely hurt us. It could definitely kill us. But we do not have a, a like a bad fire type move. It's like overheat would probably be pretty good, but then we'd probably have to switch to be as effective again moving forward. So let's, I'm gonna go for the flamethrower. Oh, it's not enough. Oh, only power, well, power gem isn't like, okay, well, that was a problem. So our only options now are to actually go for the overheat and hope it kills him. Or, let's see, that did about, oh god, like, I don't know, two-fifths of his health there. Let's see, let's see. He's okay, so that's like 130, and that's 90, so it's not like double damage or anything. And even if we did double damage, it would not... Oh, it would be so close. Well, if we did like... If we were calling that two-fifths, then double would be four-fifths, and that wouldn't be enough, but this is... And this won't do at least... No, because now we're only worrying about... Mm, this is close. This is close. The other problem is, like, who would we switch to, though, right? I mean, he's going to use Power Gem. Obviously, David's always an option because he can take just about anything. Um, but will Overheat do it? If we use Overheat, we're going to have to switch either way, right? That's the other part of it. Um, because we're not going to have that special attack. And then we're going to take Spikes damage. Uh, will Overheat do it? That's the question. That's the question we have to ask ourselves. Or should we switch to David? Because that's really the safest bet here. We can't, I don't want to risk, well, Fatterhorn's the other option, I guess, but Fatterhorn does have power up punch, which will be effective against the steel types. And we have leftovers and stuff. Power jump, I think, is a special type move. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, if we power up enough, we could just, that might be a pretty solid move. Otherwise, we're definitely gonna die on the next turn though. So the question is whether or not overheat will do it and should we risk it? Because we'll have to switch either way though. I don't feel like it will do it. <laughs> this is not cool. <laughs> I don't like this situation. Oh, it's making me so nervous. Oh uh, man. I don't think this is gonna be cute. This is just like, how much do we trust that it will kill? Oh, it's making me so nervous. What do, what do? What do we do? Because it, oh, okay, I'm gonna switch. We have to take the spikes damage. It's gonna hit me with power jam. That's gonna be annoying. Gosh, so frustrating. So frustrating. <laughs> All right, here we go. Heart by the spikes, power gem incoming. Yep, that did just nothing, and we'll just heal it off anyway. So there's that. That's good. Then we're gonna, no, not Pokemon. Nope, here we go. All right, we're gonna try and power up punch this thing. Flash cannon, that's gonna do just nothing, I have to assume. Yeah, that's what I thought. Boom, how's your power up punch? Super effective. All right, and we're gonna heal some. That's very good. Very good, Fatterhorn. Way to do it, way to be, way to be. And we're gonna power up punch again. Oh, you're just letting us set up on you, bro. You are letting us set up on you. That attack stat, getting high. Mm-hmm, and we're healing. You let us heal, you let us get some steam. This next power up punch will be a plus three attack. And then, you know, I don't know, I don't see any reason to just stop it, <laughs> you know. Now we're at plus three, and we have a super effective move against them. So, that's all looking pretty good. <clears throat> and we get some leftovers healing, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, good, 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 good. Two down, two down. 
Aegis Lash. Oh, he went straight for the big guns, <gasps> which was a really smart move because, of course, I can't hit it because it's ghost. <sighs> That's a real bummer. Okay. Anyway, what I can do is this, is use this on Chloeo, though. I can take a hit for Chloeo using King Shield, but it failed. Ha! Ha ha! Oh, it's such a bummer that we didn't get to... Because all my attacks will be useless against it. It's possible it'll try... Oh, it's almost too bad I didn't try and um, get the switch right there because... Ah, uh, he went for the King Shield thing. Anyway, I don't know what King Shield does, but it would have been nice. We're going back to Chloeo here. I don't know what he's going to use. The good news is here that his ghost type moves won't work on Chloeo because that's well. Oh no! <laughs> Sacred Sword, very dangerous. It is a fighting type move. Okay, okay, this thing is nasty. Okay, 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 okay. We took damage from the spikes though, right? So there's that. Oh my gosh, I thought we were so dead right there. I don't think we're gonna be faster than it either. So if I use a full restore, I, it'll go back to shield form at some point, and then it won't be as strong. But gosh, that thing's nasty. Okay, so we're gonna absolutely have to do this, because I don't think we're faster than it. Oh gosh, please don't, no. Okay, so we... We survived a little, right? I don't know how long it takes before it switches back. That's the thing. It doesn't look like it can one-shot us, but it needs to do something besides that for a turn <laughs> so that I can hit it with something. Oh, gosh, it's just going to keep wrecking us until it gets a freaking crit or something. Does it stay? I don't know how the, the stance change goes. But oh my gosh, I feel like we're just like on the edge right now. This is terrifying. Maybe it'll just run out of sacred swords. Maybe we can <laughs> force its hand, as it were. That's sort of a lame way to fight, but how many does it use now? Four? I think it only has like five if you have to move sacred sword. Oh my gosh, it's getting more effective. How is this happening? I, all I can do is sit here and do this, though. This is so... I mean, it's lame. But this is, like, where I'm at. Like... Oh, God, it has so many. Okay, can I... If I... This is getting so annoying. The thing is... Fairy is weak to steel, and that thing is steel, so that's gonna hurt. Could I bring in Dwong? No, Dwong's weak to fighting. Xerxen. The poison. I mean, Sacred Sword's gonna hurt no matter what. That's a thing. And it's a fighting type move, which is so stupid. The problem is, yeah, that we have a steel type that's really good with fighting type, and that is a really powerful fighting type move, and I don't like that. I could, I mean, Xerxen, no, Xerxen's obviously not the answer. I mean, if we could hit it with Crunch, that would do quite a bit. Oh, boy. Okay, let's look at the summary. Speed, 176. Are you the fastest Pokemon on our team? You are, but you're only barely faster than Chloeo. 
That might have been his last sacred sword. I'm going to try this one more time. Might have to, like, just switch it up. Nope. He's got more. You can see, like, the max min damage. Like, if he gets a good one, it's down to, like, 19. If he gets a bad one, it's down to, like, 33. Oh, gosh. Okay. I haven't been able to, like, launch an attack at it. Freaking, oh, I wish the Fatterhorn situation had worked out because I was ready to just wreck his whole team with that. If we go to Dave in, he's going to use a steel move next. I don't know if Xerxen can take a Sacred Sword. I don't want to, I can't risk, can I? Because if we can hit with Crunch, then we're good. Like, that'll do it. But I don't know if we're faster. Oh, decisions, decisions. This is... I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is just totally wrecking me. This is terrible. I hate it. Oh, it's hard. Oh, it's... <sighs> I'm like, I'm like stuck in a pattern here. <laughs> I can't. It's just going to keep hitting me with this giant move, and there's nothing I can do. And if I'm not, oh, not only that, I'm going to take spikes damage as well. Mm, okay, we're going to have to try it because I have to hit it with something. We'll just see how it goes. But see, now if I do this, and I'll just be stuck in the same pattern. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> like if it, like I'll have to, like it's going to hit me for big damage. And now I won't be able to, oh my gosh. Oh, it's happening. I went for it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I'm gonna take spikes damage. Oh no. And then it's gonna hit me with Sacred Sword. Oh, you got it, Zerxin. You got it. Oh, you're such a champion. That was amazing. That was amazing. Oh, but now, are we faster? Can we do it? Crunch. Oh, we are faster. No way. No freaking just destroy it. One shot. One shot. Oh. Oh, team leader. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, that was insane. Oh, it's got Scizor. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. It's pretty powerful. Man, it's real good. It's a real good Pokemon right there. Um, I don't think I can fight you. Well, I don't know if I should fight you is the thing. Uh, let's go. You're a steel bug. So, bug. So, Chloeo is our clear option here. And what I'm going to do is switch to Fatterhorn to take the hit and heal Chloeo and then probably switch. That's going to be our... Now, the spikes. I was thinking, oh, spikes. <laughs> no big deal. Big deal. Big deal now. Suddenly, it feels like, what you got? What you got for me? Iron Head. Okay. Okay. Pretty solid. Pretty, pretty solid. I will, I will admit. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to spare a turn here. I'm going to do the big FR on you. Now watch him use something even worse, though. Well, let's see how... I wonder how Power Up Punch will work against Scizor. Or the other thing we can do is... Let's see. It might make us flinch, though. Ironhead can do that. It can also miss. It's not 100% accuracy. That was terrible. BT dubs. Doesn't seem like we got a lot of my leftovers there. Um, let's try a body slam. It's just going to keep ironheading us. Don't flinch. Okay. Maybe we can get the paralysis. That'd be nice. This is our downfall earlier. Oh, we did. That's lovely. So that makes me feel a little bit better about switching. Not that we really definitely need to. What we definitely need to do, though, is heal because this guy is wearing us down with his iron heads. <clears throat> X-Scissor. He switched moves. Hmm. He must have run out. Unlike the frickin' Sacred Sword, am I right? Um, we did a power-up punch. We could probably do another. 
and then go for the next body slam to get a little more juice and just be a little bit stronger because I think he said I was one more Pokemon yet. Boy, that X is there is no joke. But that's okay. We're going to body slam him right here. He's going to die. We have our two power-ups and he's got one Pokemon left. I think, unless that was it. I think he has one more. Let me get a little bit of... Oh, no, that was it. We did it. Glorious. The trust that you should... Man, that sacred sword was no freaking joke. All right. Well, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That was no joke. All right. We are halfway there. This has already been a 35 minute episode and I have to go to the gym. So I think this is where we're going to call it for today. But thank you so much. We're halfway through the Elite Four. Please leave your condolences for Miss Zylia down in the towel section down below. I feel so bad that sh uh, because the next two fights would have been so much easier with Big X with us. But oh well, that's what happens. Thank you guys so much, as always, for liking, commenting, and subscribing. I'll see you next.